Hello, I'm Deirdre Dwyer and I'm a set and costume designer. I've been invited by Graffiti Theatre Company and Cork City Council to make this video to show you how to make your own Celtic hero costume. It's all going to be part of the virtual festival for Cork St. Patrick's Day this year, 2021. Hello, this is Deirdre Dwyer and this is the fourth in a series of four videos about how you make your own Celtic hero costume. In this video, I will show you how to make your own Celtic hero tunic from a big t-shirt. For making your tunic, you will need a large t-shirt, some acrylic paint, some masking tape or sellotape, a sharp scissors, a short length of wool and some newspaper to protect the table and protect the inside of the t-shirt. So I've got my t-shirt here and the aim is to have a t-shirt big enough that will go down just past your bum so that it can look a bit like a tunic. Um, for our Celtic hero. So I'm a bit bigger than most of you, I suspect. So I had to go for a really extra, extra, extra large one. Um, but your parents at home or a big brother or sister might have a t-shirt that they don't like anymore that you could use. Um, and even if it's got something printed on it, you could always turn it around. So turn it inside out so that the um, print was hidden or if there's something written on it. Um, or else you could, if it's on the back, it doesn't matter because your cloak is going to cover that. But so the basic part of your um, costume is going to be this tunic. So the thing that I want to do to it is one little um, cutting and then the other part is painting and creating. Um, so the first bit is to cut down the front. So to give you a bit of a slit in your, in your t-shirt, which we will then thread over with some wool. So... If you think of, if you try on your t-shirt and see how far it goes down, it's going to be about the length of a finger is going to be what you want to cut down because you don't want it to go down too far. So that's about 10 centimeters or so. Find the middle and then mark it with a pencil. So 10 centimeters there. Now, so about 10 centimeters there. So now I have my mark, I'm going to use the scissors, being very careful, to turn around my t-shirt so I'm going in the right direction and cut myself. Now, so immediately that's flapped open and you can see how that works. So in order to do this, and to, if we're gonna paint on our t-shirt, we don't want the paint going the whole way through. So I've got some newspaper here that I'm going to put on the inside of my t-shirt. And um, we're planning to paint around the collar and the V, and we're going to paint around the ends of the cuffs and then around the base of the t-shirt. So we'll do that in phases because you have to wait for the paint to dry before you'll be able to move your t-shirt around the place. And um, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we'll start with the neck, with the collar. So I'm getting my pieces of newspaper and putting them inside my t-shirt so that when we paint, it'll go through the fabric, but it won't go through onto the back. And I'm going to use yellow paint, I think. So that's what I've decided. So I've got acrylic paint. So if you use acrylic paint and then iron through a t-shirt afterwards, it's really unlikely to wash out in the wash. I'm just going to blob out my paint onto my plate that's ready and waiting there. To be neat and tidy, I'm going to use some tape. So you can use sellotape or masking tape to mask off about an inch around the edge of your t-shirt. We're going to paint all inside that masking tape now. And you want to do the same in the sleeve, so I'll just move that up there. We should be able to do this side of the sleeve as well. So I need another bit of newspaper to go in there. And that's nearly dry now, but before I maybe get the hairdryer to give it a, a blast to speed up my drying process. 
this looks like it's dry now, so I'm just going to unpeel the tape from where it's stuck onto the cardboard, which I just laid down to keep myself neat and tidy. And then I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do the same on the back. The last bit to do is just the bottom edge of our t-shirt, so I'll quickly do that now. And so we, well, I'm going to just do a tiny bit more up there. And then we wait for that to be done. And then we get to do the fun part, which is peeling off the tape. So now, whoop, I'm just using the bits of um, newspaper out of the sleeves. So see, it does come through a little bit on the inside of your t-shirt, but now I can peel off some of the paper and we can get an impression of what it looks like. So it's a lovely straight line because of your tape. Get rid of all my newspaper and lay it down. You can see that our t shirt, our plain t shirt, has transformed into a tunic. So here's a tunic for me. So the last step is to put two, a little tie across the, the top. So I need to put some little holes and because the paint will keep the fabric together I'm going to use the top of a sharp scissors and make a little hole and then poke through. I'm going to do two down uh, my tunic and try and make them an, an even. So there's another one and another one. I'm using a bit of wool. I take a piece, again, that's about an arm's length, might be too long, you can always trim it off afterwards. And I'm gonna start at the bottom on the front. So like lacing a sheet. So I'm gonna start at the bottom on the front and like you're lacing a shoe, go through my little hole with my piece of wool and bring that up to the hole at the top. And the same, I'm gonna go on the bottom and crisscross it over to the opposite hole underneath coming out. So there you go. And I'm going to just tie that a little bit into a little bow or knot. And now we have a tunic fit for a Celtic hero. So I've been Deirdre Dwyer and this video was brought to you by Cork, St. Patrick's Festival and Graffiti Theatre Company. We'd love to see your costume designs. So if you do want to share them, ask the adult in your life um, to share them on social media with the hashtags Cork Goes Green or hashtag Cork St. Patrick's Festival. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Thank you so much. Bye.